The eQuote system makes managing supplier pricing requests easier by seamlessly integrating them into your bid directly in QuickBid. In addition, eQuotes allow you to compare multiple vendor price quotes to make the best choice for your estimate. You can use eQuotes if you have a current maintenance subscription. Before you can send an eQuote, you must ensure a few key pieces of information are in place. First off, eQuotes work through email, so records for you and your supplier must exist in the database with valid email addresses. You can enter yourself as an estimator in the Estimators window and your vendor as a supplier in the Contacts window. Each window is available from the Master menu and there are training videos on both to get you started. Estimators and suppliers only need to be added to the database once. Then, you can use them on any bid in the current database. Next up is a process you must perform on every bid from which you wish to send an eQuote. Click the yellow spiral notebook icon at the top of the screen to access the bid cover sheet. Here, you must select a bidding company and yourself as the lead estimator. Later, you receive a message at the email address in your estimator record once a supplier completes an eQuote. Next, you must enter a zip code in the Job Site section. You can and should enter more detail, but only the zip code is necessary for eQuotes. The zip code allows the supplier to quote you better if they need to stock the material. With the cover sheet complete, you're ready to create your eQuote. Navigate to the Materials tab to begin. At the top of the screen is a checkbox labeled View eQuotes. When you click the checkbox, two things happen. First, a new panel appears at the bottom of the screen for your eQuotes, and a Welcome to Material eQuotes help wizard appears. The wizard guides you through the process of creating and sending eQuotes. The first time you start an eQuote, you should follow the wizard. However, once you feel comfortable with the process, you can click the Do Not Show This Again checkbox. Now you need to decide which items you want to include in your eQuote. You can cherry pick items from the materials list by holding the control key and selecting each line you need. Alternatively, you can choose a range of subsequent items by selecting the first item you want, holding down the shift key, and then clicking the last item. You can also use the filters at the top of the screen to narrow down the list of items, making selecting them a little quicker. Once you have everything selected, click and drag the items to the bottom of the screen to the line that says Drag Material Here to start a new eQuote request. You can let go of your mouse when you see a little box icon. If you see the No symbol, nothing happens when you let go, and you must try again. The eQuote's Details window appears. Here you can name your eQuote, set your anticipated ship date, and choose if you'd like the supplier to stock the job for you. If so, you can include stocking notes. Finally, you can enter general notes about the items on your eQuote. Keep in mind, every supplier you invite sees the same information. When finished, click the Close button to finish creating your eQuote. Now, at the bottom of the screen, you see your new eQuote request, plus a new line where you can drag more materials to create another eQuote. You can create as many eQuotes as you need, provided you don't try to add the same material to multiple quotes. If so, you receive an error message. Now, let's invite our supplier. Simply click the box labeled Click to Invite Supplier, and the context window opens, filtered to the supplier type automatically. Find your supplier and double click the record. Now's also an excellent time to verify the supplier has a valid email address if you didn't do so earlier. Once added, a new invite column appears, where you can repeat the previous process to add as many suppliers as you want to invite. When you've invited all your suppliers, you should take one last look at your eQuote and make sure everything is correct before you hit send. Verify all the items you need are on the eQuote. If you find something missing, just drag the item or items into the eQuote like before. If you need to remove an item from the eQuote, right-click on it and select Remove Item. Also, be aware that even though you see a current price from your database, your suppliers won't. It's there for you to compare their quotes with later. Likewise, suppliers can't see other suppliers invited to the eQuote. If you need to edit any information from the eQuote Details window, you can click the eQuote name to see a context menu. The first option is Edit eQuote, where you can modify those details, like the shipping date or notes. You can also delete an eQuote from here if you'd like to start over. There's also an option to send the eQuote, which sends the quote to every supplier invited. However, if you'd rather send the eQuote to your supplier separately, you can click the supplier's name to view a similar context menu. In this menu, you can also remove a supplier as well. Let's send the eQuote to this supplier. A sending eQuote bar appears, 
followed by a confirmation that the eQuote sent successfully. At this point, you also receive an email confirming the same thing. A letter icon appears next to each supplier you've sent an eQuote to, so you can quickly tell who has or hasn't received an invite. As the estimator, you're generally not privy to the supplier end of the eQuote process, but for this video, let's take a look at it anyway. Each supplier receives an email with a link to view the eQuote request. When they click the link, a website appears containing all the necessary information from your eQuote. Your information appears on the left side of the screen, including your bidding company information, job information, stocking details, and notes. At the bottom is an orange field where the supplier can enter notes for you. In the central portion of the screen, the supplier can see the quantity you need of each material, and they can enter their price per the quantity in the per field. Once they enter a price, a total extended value appears. There may be instances where the supplier requires you to order a minimum amount of certain materials. They can notate that minimum in the minimum order field. If the price provided is only valid through a specific date, the supplier can enter that date in the good through field. Finally, the supplier can enter their notes for each line. Once complete, the supplier clicks the Submit eQuote button at the bottom. A dialog window appears asking the supplier to verify their pricing carefully before they click OK. Once they click the OK button, the supplier can no longer access the eQuote. However, they receive a confirmation email containing all the information they entered for their own records. At this point, as the estimator, you also receive an email with a quick bid quote file attachment containing the supplier's completed eQuote, ready to be imported into your bid. Depending on your email client, the following process may look slightly different, but once you open the attachment, QuickBid displays a message informing you of the successful import into the appropriate bid. The eQuote details window appears where you can view the pricing sent by your supplier and any minimums, good through dates, and notes. Click the close button to exit the window. Once you've received an eQuote, there are several things you can do in addition to simply accepting or rejecting it. For more information, see the training video, Modifying and Accepting eQuotes.